Today we're going to take a look at the Dexter 95 inch long Easy Lube 3500 pound trailer axle beam with the idler hubs, 4 inch drop, and a 5 on 4.5 inch bolt pattern. Now this axle beam will act as part of your trailer suspension system, replaces an axle on your trailer, and you can fabricate a suspension to fit your application. It is a high strain steel construction. And this is an underslung design, and by that I mean the spring seats here that your leaf springs mount to, they're welded to the underside of the axle for mounting your leaf springs to. The spring seats and the spindles are all welded on. Now also on this axle, you might notice right in the middle here, this has a bend to it, and this is to ensure the proper camber angle. So basically when you install this axle, that bend should face up, and this label here should face the rear of the trailer. So basically having this center right a bit higher and the sides of the axle bent lower, it allows the axle to give just enough to compensate for the load that you put on your trailer. This bend creates a nice zero camber angle for even road to tread contact across the width of your trailer tires and ensures that the angle of the wheels is correct for your towing needs. The result is you get an excellent straight line acceleration for steady controlled towing. Now the spindles on these, they are a four inch drop. You can see the spindles up here, the axles down here. So there's a four inch drop and these are easy lube spindles. What's nice about that, the easy lube spindles have the built in grease zerk fittings for simple lubrication of your bearings. So you can just put your grease gun on your grease gun and pump grease in there to your bearings. That way you don't have to disassemble the hub. You can just pump it right in there. And of course the lowered axle beam that provides you a lower deck height for easier loading and unloading. The idler hubs, they are a cast iron idler hub, they're very sturdy and durable, and it will include all the parts you need. Now we've assembled it just to show you what it looks like here, but it will include the inner and outer bearings, the bearing races, the grease seal, the grease caps, and they do include the easy loop grease caps that'll go on like that, and they have the rubber plug that you can pop off to access that zerk fitting. <clears throat> the wheel studs and the lug nuts are all included, and they even include a nice tube of marine grade wheel bearing grease to be able to put on your bearings. This part is made in the USA. Weight capacity is 3,500 pounds. Now on an axle there's two critical measurements and that'll be the hub face to hub face length and that'll be measured from the hub face right here where your stud wheel studs are all the way across to the hub face over there. On this one it'll measure 95 inches. <clears throat> And the other measurement will be the spring center to spring center length, and that's measured from the center of this spring seat to the center of that spring seat. It'll be 80 inches on this one, which is usually your trailer width also. The spindle drop we mentioned is gonna be four inches. Axle tubing diameter is three inches. The bolt pattern on the hub is a five on four and a half inch bolt pattern. The wheel studs are half an inch, and the wheel size that you would use on this is 13 inch wheel up to 15 inch wheels. But that should do it for the review on the Dexter 95 inch long Easy Lube 3500 pound trailer axle beam with the idler hubs, the 4 inch drop, and a 5 on 4.5 inch bolt pattern.